How about East tourism industry is flying high with more flights to the islands and increasing numbers of visitors from new markets. But travel experts do expect some turbulence in the future. KITV 4's Paul Drews details what's on the horizon. Hawaii's exotic location, beautiful beaches, and pleasant weather hasn't changed, but now a different mix of travelers is being drawn to the islands. A lot of our dependency was on the domestic market, and since that time, we've really built up the international market. The better balanced mix of visitors means tourism here isn't as dependent on just one or two markets, which is important because experts anticipate changes soon arriving. The mainland U.S. market, um, we're seeing a little bit of uh, pricing weakness by the carriers, and we've seen the carriers pull capacity out a bit. But that's been masked a little bit by the uh, growth in the international markets, um, you know, Taiwan, for example, uh, South Korea. Based on bookings through next summer, the explosive growth in Chinese visitors is expected to continue, along with a moderate increase in tourists from Australia and New Zealand. But the mainland market is starting to taper off, and a downward correction is also expected from Japan. Along with the change in nationality of travelers, industry experts are also seeing a change in the type of visitor. An important part of Hawaii's tourism industry is incentive travelers, those rewarded by their company with a trip to our islands. That group has grown by 60% in just the past year, which means more money for the state because incentive travelers tend to spend more, especially when using company money. They also tend to travel to neighbor islands, which helps spread their benefit across the state. It's very important. You know, it gives us the foundation of our business because they tend to book further out. So important during these changing times, the tourism industry will be going after incentive travelers from all around the world. Internationally continues to grow, so we're, we're really focusing our efforts on the meetings, convention, and incentive market internationally. Paul Drews, KITV4 News. And while the number of incentive travelers is up, more companies are keeping those reward trips quiet. Our partners at Pacific Business News explain why in tomorrow's print edition.